Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today I'm again tasting whiskey here in my hotel room with a wonderful view uh, over the sea and the sunset coming in an hour or so. And well, I'm not able to sit on the balcony because there's a little bit of wind and all the humming and hissing in the palm trees and the waves at the seashore it would be too loud. So I'm sitting here and unfortunately you have to be uh, you were somewhere else. Mm. So uh, today we're tasting the Glenfiddich 18 years of age. And this bottle has a well, a very old pedigree and it was there decades of years ago and it changed its name over the years and the 18 years of age still uh, were still kept uh, and then there had been some with wooden boxes and so on but now they are 18 years again in this uh, triangular uh, rounded uh, tube which is empty. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't want to carry those heavy bottles with me and I've got a miniature with me so that's enough for tasting. And uh, this 18 year of age is now well again more affordable than it was in the meantime. So in the moment it's in Central Europe around 80 euros dollars pounds wherever you live there are places where this bottle will be much more expensive uh, it depends on the well on the competition uh, of other brands uh, on the market but uh, it's very affordable for the 18 years of age a lot of distilleries aren't able to to bottle their well their uh, emptying warehouses or casks from the warehouses at 18, 18 years of age, they have to bottle at younger ages. So this bottle is, well, or these uh, casks were bottled in small batches. But, oh, be careful, small batches at Glenfiddich are different to small batches at other distilleries because Glenfiddich is the from my point of view and with the newest figures I know, uh, the biggest malt whiskey seller worldwide. And uh, these small batches are 150 casks each batch. So there is a, a medium character in those 150 casks and they should be quite stable so that there won't be uh, big differences between the batches. 150 casks cast should be enough and multiplied by 200 bottles uh, per cask uh, you will reach uh, 30,000 bottles probably more from those batches and there are no longer there had been some bottlings carrying numbers but here we don't see that anymore there are some uh, well sets on the market where this 18 year old whiskey is incorporated in so there's uh, an 18 year old bottle accompanied with a flask uh, which you can carry with you but be careful with those metal flasks uh, don't carry the whiskey longer than a day in those casks otherwise they might carry over a little bit from the metallic taste of that flask and there is a small set of 0.2 liter bottles from Glenfiddich there's a 12 year old 15 and 18 year old in a set together well that's uh, for the description of this whiskey and now to the content yeah I have to say I had that several times in my life and I was always very very satisfied with this whiskey and if I'm sitting in a bar I have to have a whiskey with some friends and there is an 18 year old Glenfiddich on the shelf well I take that into consideration uh, because it won't be that expensive but it's very mature and well has this extra kick yeah full it's well Christmas spices in it Christmas cake cinnamon a lot of sherry grilled apples very full and let me have a look at the ABVs it's just 40 percent ABVs ABV as most of the whiskies of Glenfiddich have 
but the taste is strong. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Very friendly on the tongue, mouth filling, not sharp by the alcohol, upcoming spices, mature, old, massive, aroma rich, oak in the aftertaste. And this one is a mixture from sherry cast and Oloroso sherries uh, and uh, ex bourbon cast. So this is not a finished as the malt master. Uh, I had just uh, half an hour uh, before this one, Maltmaster, but it is uh, a mixture from fully matured casks. So this is a different approach, so that you have tastes from 18-year-old sherry casks. This gives completely different uh, taste to a whiskey. It's in the aftertaste, not bitter. There's a little bit, a very faint hint of licorice in it, but not really, and then the the nuttiness of the sherry casks, the dark fruits of the sherry, and those ripe dark apple, which you always only get if you have these well apple stew, cooked apples, grilled apples. This is a full-bodied, full mature space-side whiskey with a sherry influence as it should be. Very well done in a small batch of about 30,000, probably 40,000, because there are sherry casks in it, uh, bottles in each batch. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.